Hey guys, this is Peter from Build a Boeing. Um, it's been a long time since I did my last video, mostly because, um, well, first of all, it's summer in Denmark. It's like 25 degrees outside every day. So a lot of things is going on outside in the real world, and um, most cockpit improvements has been like small incremental uh, adjustments, nothing major so far. Um, that's just. I'll just turn the lights on and show you um, the status of the cockpit right now. Right, there we are. Most importantly, what I've done is, as you might be able to see down here, I've made like a wooden floor for the cockpit. Um, it's mounted on plywood and um, on a base, so uh, later on I'm able to do all the wiring below the floor to the computers uh, underneath the main instrument panel. I mounted the uh, the projector in the roof um, or in the ceiling. Unfortunately, the throw angle was quite small, so um, I'm only able to get like a, a captain's view. Uh, first officer is blind right now. Okay. Furthermore, I've uh, bought a set of uh, CH yoke, pedal, and throttle. I had one yoke to begin with, and. Uh, there's an extra yoke over there that I need to put in as first officer yoke. There's the throttle quadrant, and down there is the set of panels that you might be able to see. So now I'm all good to go. Um, I have the yoke, uh, sorry, the throttle working actually with reversers as well as you can see here. If we pull them back, they reverse, and uh, there's like a small dent on these. They're stuck there, and then you can pull them backwards. So there's working, working reverse. Everything just works fine. Um, what else have I done? I've put like a top shell, top on here, uh, I need to paint it black. And I've mounted small window frames, um, that gives the illusion of sitting inside a cockpit. Furthermore, I'm doing side walls right now, uh, and mounting USB plugs uh, down there to um, so I can like charge my phone and um, connect a headset and so forth. That ugly white thing in the middle right there is actually an unpainted frame for, um, for an iPad. I'm using an iPad as FMC right now. Not an optimal solution, but um, saves me like 300 euros so, um, to begin with, so that's okay. I've bought a new computer, the gray one over there. It's an Intel i7 2700K with a uh, GeForce 660. Uh, graphic card so it's uh, it's quite good it's quite powerful and that's running uh, flight sim and more or less only flight sim so then I have two additional computers now uh, behind uh, inside there um, one of them is um, running running the displays up here and nothing else more or less um, displays up there and uh, cockpit audio uh, warnings and such are run on run on that computer and the other one is running pro sim and all pro sim um, programs such as the uh, software for the uh, autopilot, for the FMC, overhead panel and so forth. Um, it's connected to a computer screen over here, also runs some um, software to connect to VATSIM. I'll just turn on, you can see there is um, ProSIM, control, thanks. Right, um, actually it's more or less a working cockpit right now. I've done flights, I've even done online flights uh, with success, um, so that's very, very good. And um, everything is more or less working right now. Uh, the pedestal is working, the main instrument panel is working, autopilot is working. As you can see, I'm missing an overhead. Um, I'm in the progress of making one myself. I have made an uh, Adobe Illustrator file of the overhead, so I'll print it to stickers and make glue these stickers onto plexiglass and then uh, mount them on on a back plate of some some sort. It's not going to be as good as the real thing, but again, right now it saves me like five or six hundred euros, and um, that will make my boat float right now. So that's it. Uh, thanks for um, for checking out the cockpit. I'm glad for all the followers and comments uh, I get, and um, keep up your good work and a nice landing strip.